Hi guys. Sorry for the background noise that you hear. That's a couple of weed whackers next door working hard. But what you see here is a uh, pile of mulch. And we had uh, three trees cut down about two years ago. And when they and loud about uh, two years ago and so uh, when they ground these stumps up they just left all the mulch um, right on top of the stumps and so um, I moved it from the front yard to the backyard where I'm at now and so I wanted to do something with this and this this is just like one stump right here um, so it's got all this mulch um, and I thought I would try to use it around some rocks in the front yard so I'm gonna take this back to the front yard put around these rocks and I'm going to dye the mulch. Uh, I've got some red mulch dye, a half gallon. Um, I'll show you guys that uh, the gallon of it and uh, uh, I've never used it before so it's going to be kind of a, a trial run here but uh, I also will show you you know where I'm going to put it before I, I put the mulch so uh, let's go ahead and go to the front yard now. All right in the front yard now and here's one tree that I want to put the mulch around. Right next to it is a uh, dirt area that you see there. That is uh, where one of the trees we had cut down is at and uh, still haven't got grass to grow even though I put some dirt there. Um, next to that is a big rock or boulder that I'm going to uh, put the mulch around. Then out in the distance, you can see a couple more, more rocks. And I want to put it around those as well. Okay, here's a look at the product I'm going to be using. Uh, this is Colorback Liquid Mulch Colorant, red. This is a half gallon size. Treats up to 6,400 square foot. Here's the directions. I'll let uh, you guys read that. Product best applied when temperature is over 40 degrees dry conditions and zero to low wind. Color back can stain if not properly attended to. If you get color back on concrete or siding immediately wash off with water. Uh, use extreme caution although the product is not harmful it, and is biodegradable it will discolor. Avoid spraying plants. It will not harm them, but will temporarily discolor. Color back needs 15 minutes to dry. Safe for plants and animals. Keep out of the reach of children. And of course, you don't want to swallow this, obviously. Here's a look at the pump sprayer that I'm going to be using. This is a Flowmaster pump sprayer. Allows you to um, spray bleach chemicals. This is one and a half gallons. Um, here's a look at the handle as a continuous spray where you can stop that and just pump it. Here's a look at the uh, nozzle. There were two other nozzles that came with the pump. Um, this one can be adjusted for either a stream or you can have like a fan spray, which is probably uh, what I'm going to be using. Now I've already have about a gallon 
a little more than a gallon of water in here and poured out about two ounces of color back. I wanted to start out um, uh, a low amount of color back and add more if I don't like the way the color looks. Um, also, it's pretty thick stuff and it's going to dry pretty fast from what I can tell here. And I don't want it to clog up the uh, nozzle or the sprayer. So yeah, I'm going to start out with two and if I need to, I'll add some more. Okay, I just added four ounces, or a little less, three and a half to start out with. And uh, so let's get the pump, pump it up, and let's go spray and try it out, guys. Looks like some clouds are coming in. You'll probably see all the chemtrails there. So I'm going to wait and hold off on spraying the dye for now. It looks like it may rain. That didn't take long at all. I didn't time myself, but I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe eight minutes to do that. Used uh, a little more than a half a gallon. I went over it twice, actually, so uh, 
it's really easy to use guys that sprayer worked out fine i was afraid that it, the uh, nozzle may get clogged up but uh we're great didn't have to really pump it but twice so uh should take about uh 15 minutes to dry hopefully it won't rain okay i've got about three trees that have the bagged pre-dyed mulch around them I uh, put this down about uh, two and a half, three months ago, so it's faded a little bit. So I'm going to uh, try to bring out the color. And see how that looks since I've got a little more left here. You can see it really doesn't uh, do anything to grass it only really stains the wood you can tell the difference right there guys you can see that I've had some delay with the color back. Um, I did this rock two days ago. I had a dry time of about an hour and then it started raining and it rained all that night. Um, and it did maintain its color. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Uh, but we haven't had any sun, you know, in over a couple of days. And so I'm going to, uh, now that we do have some sun, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that and start spraying the other, the other rock and the tree. Here's the tree. I mixed up four more ounces. So I've used a total of seven and a half ounces of the color back. I expect to have a lot left over. I'll show you guys um, when I get finished spraying here. We'll take another look and uh, let you know how many ounces I have used. It's a couple of other trees. I may spray around where I've had some bagged mulch uh, put down. It's kind of faded, so I'll put some color back in that as well. This turned out really well, I thought. Now, this is still wet. This stuff does dry fast. It's only been on here probably about uh, four minutes. Um, the sprayer worked really well. Once I adjusted the nozzle, I was able to control it really easy. I didn't get uh, any spray on the rock. Didn't get that close either but uh yeah the sprayer worked great ended up using about 10 ounces i still have about a half gallon left also put an extra coat on the other rock and this is all wet here so once it dries it should have a, a little bit more of a rustic look to it. Um, for all guys, really easy, easy product to use, I think. Um, I didn't 
have any messes, uh, spills or anything. And so uh, now that I've got these rocks and the tree sprayed, I can just maintain the color, put the color back when it starts fading. And that's really the whole idea. I finished spraying and I want to show you guys what the tank looks like. Um, I didn't have to clean the tank really at all. There was some dye that had settled in the bottom um, and so I just uh, washed that out under a outdoor faucet. Um, after that just added some fresh water and I've been running the water through the uh, wand, the nozzle here to clean that out. But, uh, yeah, it didn't stick to the tank at all, you know, except for like right up here. I could clean that off if I, uh, if I had a rag. But, uh, that's it, really. Uh, low maintenance, ready for next time. I'll show you the pump here. All I did was just wipe it off with a uh, the t-shirt, you know, so good to go. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope this has been helpful. And until uh, next time, guys, take care.